Introducing the Flutterby Flying Fairy by Spin Master, the magical fairy that turns young girls' dreams into a reality. Please know this special fairy is for indoor use only. Getting started. Installing batteries. Your Flutterby Fairy comes with a decorative display stand that is also used for charging and launching your fairy, and an instruction sheet. Be sure to read the instructions before you play with your Flutterby Fairy. To download an extra copy, go to www.flutterby.com. Let's get familiar with the display stand. The launching button, the on-off switch, and charging cable. The base controls everything. It both charges your ferry and can start and stop its flight. Before every flight, always ensure your Flutterby ferry is fully charged. For best performance, always use six fresh AA batteries. To install your batteries, unscrew the back panel using a Phillips head screwdriver and remove the cover. Insert the batteries following the plus and minus signs indicated on the base. A helpful hint is that the flat side of the battery touches the spring. When you're finished, replace the battery cover tighten, and you're ready to start the charging process. Charging your ferry. To charge your Flutterby ferry, locate the on-off switch and charging cable on the back of the display stand. Move the switch to the on position. You will see the number one. One means on, zero means off. After turning the base on, you will see a red light turn on. This means it is ready to charge. Now pick up your fairy, locate her on-off switch, and move it to the off position. You will see the number zero. Next, take the charging cable attached to the stand and insert it into the charging port on the side of the fairy's skirt. Once connected, you can put her back on her display stand. The light on the stand will now start to blink red. This means the fairy is being charged. After about 30 minutes, the light will turn to an orange shade and blink faster. After another five minutes, the light will automatically shut off. When there is no light, it means the fairy is fully charged and ready to fly. In total, it will take about 30 to 35 minutes for a full charge. Finally, remove the charging cable from your fairy and switch the display stand back to the off position. This will reset the stand before you can begin flying. Flying your fairy. Always fly your fairy indoors in a wide open room without vents, fans, bright lights, or devices like remote controls. These items can interfere and make it difficult to control your fairy. To begin, switch both the stand and the fairy to the on position. You'll notice a yellow colored light will flash inside the fairy's skirt. This means she is charged and ready to fly. Now put her back into the stand and put the unit on a horizontal flat surface. Double check her pedals are down and can move freely. The red light on the base means she is ready to fly. Push the button on the front and watch her take flight. Guide her with your hands as she dances across the room. She will fly with you between five and six minutes before she needs to rest and recharge. Stopping the fairy in storage. To stop your fairy from flying, push the button once to make her come down slowly and twice if you want her to stop flying right away. There's no need to worry about damaging your fairy when she drops. She's built with durable materials, resistant to impacts. To store your fairy, place her in the stand and make sure both the stand and the fairy are turned off. Always remember, you may need to charge her again before her next flight. Troubleshooting. My fairy is flying too high or is stuck on the ceiling. If your fairy is flying too high or is stuck on the ceiling, try one of two options. First, try turning her off by pushing the button on the display stand. Push the button once for a slow descent, twice for a fast descent. Then reset the on-off switch on her skirt. This will recalibrate her flight. If that does not correct her flight, try launching her from the floor instead of a table. She is sensitive to light and will fly higher depending on the color of the floor or brightness in the room. 
My ferry does not hold a charge. If the light on the base is green, that means the batteries are low and need to be changed. Check to see if you used fresh batteries and the polarity is correct. If the light on the base flashes red and green, that means the charging cable is not secure, connecting into the ferry's skirt. Check to see if it's inserted properly. My ferry does not lift off properly. Check your batteries to ensure she is getting a strong charge. Also, check the wings, making sure they can move freely. Finally, make sure the ferry is standing straight in the base and the pin she rests on is not bent. What if the ferry hits the wall? Not to worry, the ferry is durable and will stop flying right away. Just pick her up and check that her wings are lined up correctly and they can move freely. Put her back on the base and push the button to relaunch. What if her wings fall off? Don't worry, certain wings on your ferry are replaceable, namely the large round skirt pedals located under the main propeller. Simply slide the top cylinder into the hook. Gently squeeze the wing and slide the bottom cylinder into the hook to reattach. 